Wow, what a gift each new day is, isn't it? Oh, I love to just wake up normally around 6.30 right now and just sit, nurse William, have my devotions before I come and take my supplements, which right now is quite a stash as I'm showing you, but I love what they're doing for me and I'm grateful that there are options like that around. How sweet would it be to put on a cute little workout outfit and kind of laughed at myself because that is not the reality of how this goes right now. I actually just stay in my nightgown to work out because it usually has spit up on from throughout the night. We've been nursing. We are just kind of messy till morning. <laughs> two months postpartum so I just leave my nightgown on and throw it in the wash with my daily load after but doing these workouts is such a game changer in feeling better feeling more like yourself giving energy I know often as busy moms we can just kind of put that to the side and like oh I don't have time for it I'm too busy actually it makes you feel a lot more productive throughout the day uh, right now this is definitely not me time for working out I usually start with one two or three kids and we end as a whole family Josh and whichever kids were doing barn chores that morning are back in and this actually has turned into a really fun <laughs> kind of family tradition <laughs> After that I try to make sure that the kids have something for breakfast as well as give them their vitamins. They take these Mighty Min's vitamins that are also, if you read up on them you can see how incredible they are but I highly recommend if you're looking for vitamins for your little ones to try those. Uh, we had some spelt sourdough blueberry pancakes in the fridge, so Kyra actually offered that she could get those ready while I got ready for the day, which was a huge help. about a hair and makeup routine so I'm gonna to try to give that to you this is literally a five ten minute busy mom routine you could call it I usually just tie my hair in a knot or put it in a claw clip or something and do my makeup first but I'll show you what I do so to start off with I am using this merit minimalist stick I am using it in the shade dune my makeup kind of flip-flops between Merit and Adele Natural Cosmetics. So right now I'm using this one. Pardon me looking to the side all the time. I'm just gonna put some under my eyes. Hey, you playing dolls? Just gonna, sure, just gonna brush that in. Yeah, it's a little weird. I got these, I guess they're like pregnancy spots or liver spots, people call them. I got a couple of them in this last pregnancy, so I'm just gonna dab a little extra of this on. Then I have, this is also Merit Bronzer. This is my little sidekick. Do you wanna say hi? She comes nearly every morning to do makeup with mom. But I'm gonna take this bronzer. Now I know I said in my color analysis I shouldn't do bronzer. I tried that for a while and it was, 
it was not working not this time of year so I'm back to bronzer <laughs> this is the color clay and I'm just gonna put a little bit right under my cheekbones now I do agree I don't think a very dramatic makeup look <clears throat> looks nice on me but I do like just a little bit of contrast so that is what we're gonna do. Also, at the same time, I'm gonna take this blush. This is by Adele, and it is the color Rose Petal. We're just gonna dab that on. Mom, can you have this a little bit of And then we're just gonna brush that in. Like this, Mommy. Then I'm gonna take this highlighter stick. This is also from Merit. This is the color Kava, Kava? I don't know how you say that. I actually, <laughs> I know, often they say you should put highlighter right here under your eye. I do not like highlighter right there, but I put a little dab on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit right under my eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna gently dab that. Now, for my eyes, it changes all the time. One of my favorites is this very old, <laughs> this is a very sparkly eyeshadow. I'll often wear that one like date night, Sundays, things like that. Sometimes just at home as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette today as my bottom layer. I like to go for shades of gold since I have blue eyes and that helps them pop. And then I like to actually use this. It reminds me of a highlighter, but it's actually eyeshadow. This is the Julep Beauty um, Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Stick in the color Champagne Shimmer. Now there's a whiter one that I actually like more. I think I'm gonna go back and order that one. But it just really helps to brighten up the eye. And then on the opposite end, it actually has a little sponge that you can just dab it in. Right now I'm using this Lash Paradise Mascara. This is super cheap. <laughs> the secret to my long lashes is not my mascara, but this stuff. This is the Lash Therapy from Hello Skin Care. Since I started using this is when my eyelashes exploded and it's just made all the difference. I just put that on once at night. Yeah usually every night, sometimes like five days a week. And that's all, and it makes a huge difference. It is expensive, but it works really well. For my lips, I am using the Adele, it's just like a lip balm. You could use any lip balm. I try to go for like cleaner lip balms, and that's the thing, I'm trying to slowly <laughs> convert all my makeup over to completely natural, because I really prefer that. But I haven't been able to find everything. I'm kind of picky with what shades I get and I haven't been able to find everything. For example, I have a bunch of lipsticks from natural brands here trying to find one in this exact shade which is Daringly Nude and I cannot find this color anywhere and I love this exact color. Anyway, but that's what I'm using. This is Maybelline's Daringly Nude. Then for my eyebrows, I'm using ELF's Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde, and I'm just gonna go ahead and color in my eyebrows. I have very sparse eyebrows, and I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have a scar that goes right through my eyebrow right here, and maybe I should give a little story time while we do this. I don't think I've ever shared this story on here before. If I crease my <laughs> forehead like this you can probably see it better I have a scar going from here all the way down to here through my eyebrow and into it just missed my eye when I get tan in the summer it sticks out a lot more but what happened is as you know I grew up in Canada and we had all the you know cold winters well I was four years old and my older sister who was Six at the time, I think, decided it would be fun to play outside. And we have, you know, feet of snow, these literally feet long icicles, four, five feet long, that would be massive at the top and then like needle sharp at the bottom. Well, we decided how fun would it be to go and suck on them. We loved sucking on icicles 
So the plan was that my older sister would climb up on this, mom had this little wooden stool, and she would climb on, on top of it, and I was going to stand in the bottom and catch the icicle when it came. <laughs> well, as you might guess by my scar, the icicle came, uh, but I didn't catch it very well. So it sliced my forehead open and barely missed my eye, which, praise God, it didn't get my eye. Okay, I'm going to go in with one final round of mascara. It didn't get my eye, but blood just gushed out of my forehead and mom says she could see like it's right here they could see my bone <laughs> in my head and I remember little bits of this experience I remember begging mom that it doesn't hurt don't take me to the doctor because I was terrified of doctors and I also remember sitting between mom and dad in dad's little red pickup truck holding an ice cream bucket, like a one gallon bucket, on my lap with blood just gushing out of my head. And then I remember getting a purple lollipop when I was done being stitched up. But I got, I believe, 26 stitches. Um, so it looked <laughs> pretty rough there for a while, but that's the story behind the scar through my eyebrow and the scar on my forehead. So this is all that I do for my makeup routine. I know it takes way longer talking through everything, but normally I would say it takes me five, max 10 minutes to do it, but it works for me as a busy mom. So now we're gonna go and move on to hair. One of my top five asked questions is how I fix my hair. It makes me kind of laugh because it is such a simple, hairstyle, but I'm happy to share it if that's helpful. All that I'm using is my hairbrush, a hair tie, a small clip, this is totally optional, and then bobby pins. I would just get whatever color matches your hair the best, a heat protectant spray, and curling iron, which these I just use sometimes, and then actually Vaseline. So let's get into it. First I'm going to just brush out my hair. Hey buddy, did you sleep good? I know. Such a nice day. My hair has actually come a long way from where it used to be uh, a year or two ago, but we're still working on it. I still have quite fine hair. To make it look a little more voluminous, I'm just going to tease it. Then as I get higher, I do a little bit more. Last one is going to be about here. And then I just make my part wherever <laughs> I want it that day, which is usually for me on the left or in the middle. I'm just going to gently smooth out the hair a little. Then I'm going to just loosely grab my hair here and push up. If you can see in the back, that's what creates that volume back there. I'm going to put in my hair tie. Maybe I'll turn around so you can see. Pull my hair through almost all the way, wrap it around again, and the last time I just pull it through this far. And then I'm gonna go and just pull out little pieces around the top. I don't know y'all, I'm maybe doing a horrible job explaining this. I'm just gonna pull a little bit like this, again to help with volume. And then I am going to Pull these parts and just pin them on like that to make the bun. right above my ears here and pull out a little bit of hair just to make it look a little more of a loose, less rigid look. <laughs> and then this is where I put this clip in. Now this is very optional. I feel like it helps hold this volume in place a little bit more and I'll usually place it right around there so that it holds this part. Sometimes I'll curl these a little bit. I feel like these are still a little bit curled so this is where <laughs> I grab my Vaseline and just 
put the tiniest little bit in there. Now, go ahead and tell me that this is really awful for my hair. I literally put it just on these hairs. Sometimes if I have flyaways, I will put a little bit right here as well, but just the tiniest bit so you don't, I mean, you can't even really see it on my finger. I don't usually use hairspray. This is all that I do. A little bit of touch-ups like that, and that's it. Here and now, we call on you. servants, none of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. That's no hill for a climber, that's no bow for a child of God. Satan's already been defeated and the victory's been won. This is the day, this is the day that the The big kids have recently been all into fixing their own hair, which is kind of fun and kind of crazy. We're in that stage already, but I often think of how much better I feel, how much easier it is to have a good mood and things when I feel put together, when my hair is done, when I am dressed. And so I try to make sure that I do that for my kids as well and let them feel put together for a good day. I've mentioned it a couple times recently, but I have fallen in love with one load of laundry a day. Now with five kids, everyone puts away their own pile and it just is a great, great way to stay on top of the mountain of laundry. This is not part of my routine all through the winter, obviously, but we are the time of year where I'm trying to harden off all my seedlings. So part of my routine right now includes taking these out in the morning and then bringing them back in at night and just letting them get used to all the elements outside. So I'm gonna move these on out and then that is really all that's to my morning routine. We try to be done with our last thing, which is kind of family devotions, around 9 or 9.30. And then from there, it just varies from day to day. So today I think we're gonna go work out in the garden, plant some more things, but I hope this inspired you. I hope it answered some of your questions. Thank you so much for being here and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Oh.